Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me once again today. My name is General Confusion, and this is Battle Brothers. So, we are doing pretty well, actually. Our troops are relatively well equipped across the board. Um, poor Spawn the Ugly is still a little beat up, but he'll be fine. Uh, we are almost done with our objective, our ambition. We need to get 1,050 renown, and right now we are at 996. So we only need to do a couple more missions, and we should be able to get that. Unfortunately, there is nothing for us in Koppeldorf, unless there's something cool we can buy. Um, we have 3,200 crowns right now, so I'm going to spend the money to buy some more tools and supplies. And we have plenty of backup gear. Uh, I might take that money, actually, head back up to Hageland. Hageland, by the way, is allied with us at this point, and they're a large city, so there's lots of stuff there, and, more importantly, lots of potential recruits. So I'm going to head up that way, see if maybe we can recruit one more guy to fill out our roster, possibly even one of the more expensive and valuable guys, and then, um, yeah, I'll see if they have any jobs for us there at the same time. Okay, Siegfried the Sot, uh, fell and broke his own nose. Oh my goodness. Siegfried, you are the worst. Seriously, Siegfried has been the cause of most of the problems this company has had. I'm not even exaggerating. When we lose things, it's Siegfried losing them. When we suffer injuries, it's Siegfried injuring himself. It's just, it's just bad. The guy's the worst. But he is a decent fighter. Okay, Hagland actually has a three skull contract available, but first let's look at hiring. We could hire Thorismund the Survivor, but we don't have quite enough money. We could also hire Hugo, but we don't have anything like enough money. We are close, however, to being able to hire Siegfard. Siegfard is a sellsword. He comes with good equipment and a billhook, so I want him. So we need about 700 more to hire Ziegward. Um, what, what can we sell in the marketplace? We have some food. We're doing all right on that. We're good on gear. Okay, let's take a look at this three skull contract, shall we? Brigands. What is Hagelin prepared to pay for their safety? 1,230 crowns. That is a lot of cash to take out brigands. Um... Drive off brigands at abandoned stronghold west of Hagland. Okay, that's probably going to be really tough. Let's take some time to think about it. Let's look at this other one. Um, something of great value has been stolen. My lockbox. Let's talk pay. 130 crowns in advance. Another 520 when the job's done. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to hunt down these brigands first, and then we will consider going after the brigand encampment. Yeah, seven thieves, a few marksmen, some raiders. Ooh, that's unfortunate. A few marksmen. Well, I think we can probably take them. There's only seven of them. There's 11 of us. Uh, admittedly, we only have one archer, and they have at least two, but still. I think we can do it. Especially if we chase them into the woods, where their larger number of archers won't be as important. So let's take them on. Okay, they're taking shots at us. Ooh, that's a crossbow guy. He doesn't have a shield, so he's not that dangerous. Crap. Okay, this guy right here, he's a serious problem because he has a long axe. Long axes do tons of damage, and they can also hit over two spaces and split shields. So they're just bad news. I want to get rid of him post-haste. Let's see how we can go. So there's a gap right there, but that might be blocked off. No, it can't be, because he's firing. So there must be a gap right there that we could possibly go through. There's this way up here. We can go up there, and it looks like we can flank down and around. Let's get Olafest up here. Move him forward a little bit. Um, I do want to take the high ground, if at all possible. But Ruel... Yeah, Ruel does not have Pathfinder, which makes it very difficult for him to move in the woods. So he's just going to have to go up there first off. Philman, likewise. Crow T, um, I think he's... So we're basically splitting into two forces once again. One force is flanking down this way, and one will go up over there. Um, 
several of these bandits are helmetless, which is really going to be helpful. Pro T should move up north, however. Spawn, meanwhile, can get up on the hill. Siegfried, who broke his own nose being a fool. Move over there. Bernard can get down here. Yep, get in the get in the hole there. Carl, can Carl? Yes, Carl can take that part of the hill. Um, although it might actually be better to stand back here and kind of let them come to us. Because if I move Carl up there, I'm worried that <clears throat> excuse me, the Axeman will get a swing and these two guys will get to move in and surround him. So let's just put Carl right up there for now. Thomas. Yeah, we need the extra force up this way. So Thomas can move up there and we'll get Arnie up to provide backup as well. Yep, okay, good. That was what I wanted. I wanted him to move forward. So now next turn, we can step Carl forward to here or we can jump rule the brave up there and go for headshots on him. Okay, headshot. Oh, only 29%. Um, go for it. No dice. This jerk's throwing axes. Okay, uh, yeah, you can't attack, so you just stay there for now. Rule, get up there. Yes! We got rid of the axe. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um... And as for you, yeah, Thelman, get over there. Pro T can step up there with his pike. Um, I don't really want to advance like this until I can advance with two people simultaneously. Um, if we could get Carl to hop down there, he's already fired. So yeah, Carl can jump down there. We'll get Spawn up that way. Uh, yeah, I know Spawn, I'm just kind of throwing you out there. Good luck. Siegfried, we don't want to be in front. We want Bernard to go in front, because Bernard can um, rege regenerate fatigue quicker. Oh, come on. You can't even hit him, Carl. You're the best. You're the guy I rely on. The guy who gets work done. I, I really like that this guy is content to just sit back there. That makes me very happy. Uh, yeah, Siegfried, just stay there for, that, for now. Never mind. We want to get rid of Mr. Military Pick just ASAP. Because otherwise he will destroy a ton of armor and cost me a ton of money. Uh, Rymar, you get up there. Wow, Spawn, you are getting whooped on. Okay, um, but yeah, I think we've got this pretty much just wait. We'll see if Ruel can maybe move forward somewhere. Uh, Thilman. Uh, yeah, Spawn is out of armor. Ooh, okay, so Spawn is in a really bad place. Um, I don't know if anyone can help him anyway. Thomas, you get up there to deal with that guy. Um, stun? Yes, stun. That helps. Okay, spawn. Try to knock him back? No. Try try again. You can't. Okay. Um, well then just stab him. The problem is, of course, I can't run away or this guy will just get a free shot. Um, and without his armor, spawn is quite vulnerable to right now just being killed outright. There's nothing I can do. I stunned this guy, so he's only going to have to weather attacks from one brigand. But that still might be too much. However, I can get Crow T up there to provide stabbing support, which might help. Oh, but Crow T can't attack this turn. Well, good luck, Spawn. I uh, wish you all the best. Hope you don't die. Hmm. Yeah, take the shot. Good shot. Oh, and there goes Spawn the Ugly. I'm sorry, man. You were just, uh... You were just never... Never meant to live. Stab him, because he doesn't have a shield. Now get Thilman over there. Thilman should last a little bit longer. And good. Now we've got this archer. 
We can go after him. Um, meanwhile, we can get Thomas up around the flank. That'll help out. See if we can maybe kill this guy. Not quite. Arnie. Nope, you can't attack. Okay. Uh, yep, take a shot. Might as well. I'm sorry, Spawn. I wanted you to live. I really did. But I was not given that choice. Everyone else is doing quite well, though. It's just unfortunate that we had to lose one of our fine, uh, well-beloved troops. Ooh, stabbed guts. Ouch. And you, uh, go for the head. There we go. Yep, he's almost dead, too. Uh, you just come around here this way, help out. Good. Okay, so it's down to just basically these three. Can you shoot him? Maybe? No? Okay. Thomas might take some armor damage here. Yep, there it goes. Siegfried can't do anything. He can't even contribute. He's nowhere near the theater of operations. Get that archer out of the way. Don't like him, don't want him. Uh, rule, you just hang out. Great! Broke the shield. Finally got a stab in. Excellent, excellent. Now he's fleeing. This guy's still fighting, unfortunately. Oh, crap! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's some serious damage. Hang on. You get up there. He's running away. So that's fine. Now Carl, get up there to hurt his morale, maybe? Thomas, um... He's not injured, so all you can do is hack at him. Oh good, he's fleeing. Thank goodness. Oh. I did not want to lose two guys in this fight. Nope, run him down. We're not letting him get away, are you crazy? He's totally surrounded. Why would we let him escape? Uh, yeah, you can get up on the hill, I guess. We'll just get our- get everybody in and, uh, beat him to death. There you go, Thomas. Another kill for you. So, Spawn the Ugly unfortunately bit the dust, but Rule got promoted, so hey, you know. You win some, you lose some. We got a bow, we got Spawn's armor and helmet back, we got another boar spear, a couple of shields, nothing too terribly impressive. But, you know, something. Okay, so, those who stole the lockbox are dead. Back to Hageland we go. Uh, and on the way back, I will actually do my level up. Rule the Brave, leveling up you. Uh, you're leveling up to six. You're doing pretty impressively well. Let's get your melee skill up. Let's get your max fatigue up because we can always use more of that. And let's get your melee defense up as well. And for your skill, we will give you um, Underdog. Oh, no, Pathfinder first. He needs that. That's for sure. A lot of people, people don't seem to talk about Pathfinder when they're... Uh, doing this, playing this game, but I find Pathfinder super useful. Anytime you're not fighting in an open field, Pathfinder will increase the mobility of your troops, and it also means that you spend a lot less energy running around. Uh, you spend a lot less fatigue. So we have a couple of hunting bows. I'll sell one of them. I'll sell this short sword. I'll sell a morning star, a couple of morning stars. The knife, I'll sell one of my axes. And we'll sell a few shields. We also have several helmets, so I'll sell two of those, and I'll sell one of my padded leathers, maybe? Well, I can sell that other knife, that's for sure. Yeah, and I'll sell a padded leather, so we're up to 4,100 gold, which means we can afford to hire Ziegvard. So, let's look at Ziegvard. He's level 2, he comes with a bill hook, 60 to 90 damage, 150% effective against armor, compared to our pikes, 
10 more maximum damage and a lot more effective against armor. Uh, also, the same max fatigue. So, Ziegfard, we're going to level up your melee skill. We will level up your maximum fatigue. And we're going to level up your ranged defense, which is quite good already, but we want it to be even higher. His sure footing gives him plus 5 melee defense, but he is superstitious, unfortunately. So, if ghosts ever come after him, he is screwed. This is why I wanted to hire him. This background cell sword, his melee range skill, and both his defenses start higher than anybody else's. So he started, he came in at level 2 with a melee skill of 62, which is pretty darn impressive. So we're going to put him in... We could actually put him in the front line. Um, I mean, he's not injured or anything. He doesn't need to be in the back. Or we could put Crow T up front and let him kind of earn his stripes. With 11 men, we don't really need four backline troops. So, Crow T here will give you slightly better armor. Actually, Ziegvard, you're going to be in the background, so we're going to give you the padded leather. We'll give Crow T that basic male shirt there. Um, yeah, Thelman, you can just stick with what you got. Uh, you also have a pretty good helmet, so we'll give you a slightly worse helmet. This is the life that you signed up for, man. We're just taking all your crap away from you. Bernard and Siegfried the Sot both have the high, high-leveled helmets already. So Thilman will give a very slightly better helmet. Crow T here, we are going to arm with... Um, like I said, he's a newbie, so for newbies, I often want to equip them with um, spear and shield, just because it's a very defensive loadout. They can activate spear wall or shield wall, fight very defensively, and not really worry about it. So we've got him up there. We've got our new um, mercenary man here joined the company. We have quite a lot of weapons lined up, actually, that we don't necessarily need. And we have the extra cash to actually buy somebody else if we wanted to. Just a basic, you know, low-level helper-outer. Um, Bertolf, a servant. Hmm. So, that's probably not helpful. And Beggar definitely isn't helpful. Let's get Bernard. He's a farmhand. I think farmhands tend to be pretty good. Yeah, he's tough. He starts off with 77 hit points. Good on you, Bernard. Let's give you a helmet and some armor. And... Yeah, okay. We'll, uh, we'll put you in the back lines. So we've got Carl in the middle here. Let's get um, Olafest, or Rymar, sorry, way over there. Yeah, put you back there and give you a pike. Okay, so now we are pretty solid. I could definitely use another archer. Hmm, and I might actually train Ziegvard to that end, because he has 46 ranged skill and 2 stars. So he could probably be pretty good. I mean, he'll get 10 level ups. He could get up into the 70s or 80s with ranged skill. So I might do that. I'm not going to give him a bow yet, but we'll see how his level ups pan out. But for right now, um, we have this contract. It pays 1,230 crowns to drive off brigands at the abandoned stronghold. I'm actually not going to take that yet because uh, we need money right now, but we also need to not get everyone murdered, which I'm afraid might happen. We are at 1026 Renown. We just need to do one more, one more contract, and we will be professionals. So let's see what they have for us in Semftenburg. Uh, ooh, that's another three skull contract. Wow, what's with all these three skull contracts? More brigands. More brigands? 1380. Paid more? 1380. Hmm. Getting a lot of these three skull brigand contracts around lately. See, my troops aren't all that individually superior to brigands. That's the thing. Uh, no. I'm not gonna take it. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for an easy contract. Because I need... I just need something to earn some money, keep things on the table, keep food on the table, as it were. And uh, let's go to Nassenfels, see what they have for me. I do need it kind of quickly, because uh, 
I only have about another day's worth of pay, but I'll try at least one more town before I give up and go for the super dangerous contract. I'm just afraid that that contract would get a bunch of my guys killed. And, you know, I've, I've invested in these troops now, except for the new guys, of course, but hey, I like them. I want everybody to live. It would be nice. What did we just find? A dead men fort. Let's see what's there. A few brigand marksmen, many brigand raiders. Okay, so yeah, this is the kind of thing that you might get paid 1,200 crowns to go clear out, except if you're getting paid 1,200 crowns, there'll often be a brigand leader or something there as well. Brigand leaders have buffs that they can drop on nearby brigands to increase morale and stuff and help keep them from running away, which is a real problem. So let's go into Nassenfels and see if Nassenfels has anything cool for us to do. Yeah, that's only two skull. The Blood Vial of the Holy Mother. Uh, sunken Battlefield. All right. Uh, 730 crowns. Yep, we'll do it. So where's the Sunken Battlefield? Down there. Let's go to the Sunken Battlefield. Off we go to save the day. Okay, Sunken Battlefield. Here we come. You enter the ruins and find the Blood Vial of the Holy Mother easily enough. When you turn around, a tall man in rustic armor is standing there, spear in hand, with vacated eye sockets leering down at you. He swings the spear back. The false king must die. The spear stabs forward. Bernard leaps over and deflects it to the ground, the spear tip crackling a couple of sparks off the stone floor. You look at the undead man, a worm coursing through its nose. It speaks again. The false king must. With a quick draw, you unsheathe your sword and cut the ancient dead's head right off. The skull and helmet carrying it clatter and clank off the ground. Before you can investigate, Bernard grabs you and tells you to run. More undead figures are appearing out of the walls, shaking free of the granitic grip of a mausoleum's entombment. Once outside, you order the rest of the company to get into formation. Oh good, we're fighting more of the undead. Great, and they have some ancient legionaries with them. Great! Well, let's see how this one goes. Um, judging by my previous fights with these guys, it might be a bit of a long one. Okay, so there's 12 of us, 11 of them. They kind of have the high ground, which I'm not a big fan of. Ooh, good shot, Rymar. I'm going to pull back, actually. I'm going to see if I can pull back onto that cliff. And honestly, if they'll let me go, I'll just go to the edge of the map and leave. Like, it's not like I care that much. So we're going to kind of form a line along here. Um, and if they chase me, they chase me. But actually, we'll form a line right along the front here. Yeah, well, they'll have to go down into a dip to fight me. Get Crow T up there on that side. Thomas, right there. Okay, so they are going to advance. Fine. Great. They can come at me. I have the high ground. They will have to uh, launch their own attack. So Arnie, Ziegford right there. I want Arnie right here where Thomas is, actually. And I want Thomas... Hmm, I'll have Rule the Brave, Thilman. I'm not sure if I want Thomas right up front. Yeah, actually, I think Thomas right up front and then Siegfried and Bernard with the spear wall might be useful. So Arnie, move over there first, and then wait. Everyone else will move in, yep. All these ancient legionaries. Ooh, that ancient legionary has a pike. And so does that one. That's unfortunate. We want to get rid of those guys first. No, Arnie, just wait. Okay. Um, yeah, just take a shot, Rymar, and then keep moving to join the group. I want you where Thilman is. So you move over there. Actually, they're probably not going to flank me too hard on this side, so never mind that. Why did you go way over there? Oh, you're going around to get up the cliff. Okay, fine. Uh, rule, wait, I need Thomas up front first. 
you wait. Yeah, Philman, you're okay there. Yep, Carl, you're where you need to be. Just wait. You put down your spear wall. You put down your spear wall. You get down there, Bernard. Uh, Siegfried. He's done. Nobody can reach you, so you don't need to spear wall yet. Thomas, you get up there and wait. Need to get Rymar behind the lines, though. Crap. I was really hoping to get Arnie out of there before this Ancient Auxiliary reached me. The problem with the Ancient Legionaries isn't that they're tough, it's that they're super hard to actually hit. Um, I can hit him. Okay, and then try to move? Nope. He got a shot off. Unfortunate. And like this guy, this guy is going to be a problem. Him, I can probably just kill, which is good, but... Rule, get up there. Uh, yeah. Whack him. Thilman... I don't want... I want to fight up on the high ground. Can you stun him, please? Yes, thank you. Did you stun him? Ooh, you can. Nice. Good, the spear wall is working. Uh, yeah, just keep the spear wall up, man. You, you have the spear wall up, but it's not working because this guy has broken it, so stab him. Uh, you put down the spear wall, and you take a swing. Great. Rymar, get all the way up there. Thilman, wait. Ruel, wait. I need Arnie. Oh, I don't. I think they're going to move in and block Arnie with somebody else before he can get out there. If Bernard can keep his spear wall up and keep this space clear, then Arnie will be able to move back and Ruel can move into his place. Olafest, where are you going? Just, just go over there. Just stay there. Get rid of that Legionnaire for me, please. You, um... Yeah, stab him. Shoot. Okay. Great, he's dead. Good. Thomas, um, just hang on. You might get a chance to launch another attack. But I'm afraid that these Pike Legionnaires are just gonna stab him to death. And his armor is damaged. Shoot. Nope, spear wall. And spear wall. You. Good, another stun. And do some more damage. We're just trying to kill these guys off as rapidly as possible. Yep, there it goes. There's the stabbing. Arnie, get up there. Do some stabbing of your own. They're not terribly accurate, fortunately. You can get down there. Try to kill him off. Didn't work. I also love the fact that the undead are stupid enough to just run headlong into spear walls. Um, okay, so this is a tricky situation. Thomas right now is vulnerable in the sense that if both of these guys hit him, they could theoretically do just an absolute ton of damage. But, um, at the same time, I don't really have a good solution right at the moment, except to push forward. Which is tough, because they still have all these guys here, so I need to just hold my position for a little while. However, I can start putting down some fire in an effort to damage their armor. Move up there, Olafest. Actually move down there. Provide backup for Thoman here. Kill him. Kill him. Thank you. Kill him? Nope. Kill him! Okay, Thilman, you're doing fine. Great. Yes, run onto the spears, please. That is what I want. 
Good. Now, actually, Thomas could move backward and clear some space out. Or he could move forward so we can try to flank. We have two legionaries left up here. And then we have one, two, three. We have five legionaries in total. Only a couple of the auxiliaries are left. So Thomas... Yeah, Thomas isn't in, in any immediate danger, and by hopping up there, he gets out of range of this guy, who will probably go for either Siegfried or Thilman. Um, I'm just going to have you wait, actually. I want to see which way they jump first. Okay, they moved another guy into the spear wall. That's fine. So now we have him in melee. Yep, they keep doing those shield walls. They love them some shield walls. That's fine. Keep... Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. There it went. That was what I was afraid of. Get out of there, Thomas. 83% chance to hit with that shot. Totally failed. Oh, dear. Okay, hit him. Yep, hit him. Thank you. Hit him. Dang it, Bernard, you broke my streak. Uh, where, where are you, Rule the Brave? Oh, you're hidden back there. Okay. Good hit. Okay, yeah, Thomas, I'm just kind of keeping you back at this point. Uh, Ancient Legionary. Yeah, go for it. Uh, no two for one. Billman, come on. I was hoping you could, hoping you could pull a double out. They are wearing such heavy armor. It is just impressive. Okay, Carl, flank around. Crow-T will... Crap! Okay, Rule the Brave needs to fall back as well. Ninety-five percent, ninety-five percent. Yeah, hit him. Thomas, uh, stay back. Get a shot in. Vimar, come on, hit him, take off some armor. Good job. Can you get up there and still stab? Yes, good. Oh, he's still alive. Ugh. Arnie. Um, if we can shift things around, we'll be able to attack with both of these guys this turn, so I'm going to wait. You can provide some backup up top. Yeah, like Rule getting out of dodge. Yowza. Philman, however, is doing just fine down here. Bernard, get some stab on. Stun him, please. Thank you. Those pikes are just so deadly. I, I hate fighting pikes. I love having pikes, but I hate fighting them. Great, he's gone. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so you get down there and stab him. Then you move forward and stab him. Great. Fantastic. Rymar can move up there to try to get some shots at an unopposed angle. Great, and we're down to only one of the undead, and none of our men has died. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Uh, Rule is going to not join that fight. Crow T, you're, you're doing fine, Crow T. I'm impressed. You've been giving it your all. Really, you're really hanging on. You're a credit to the team. This ancient legionary, Thomas, um, who pierced the leg muscles. Ugh. Thomas, I don't want you fighting either. Philman, why don't you get in there? And Siegfried. And, yeah, Crow T. Get that stab in. Not doing a whole lot of damage, but, I mean, hey, you're doing something. Ooh, good shot. Rule, stay out of this. We're just going to get all of our two-handed weapon users to mob this guy. Is basically what we're doing right now. Um, wait, let Thomas move so that you can get in there. Ouch, Crow T. Having a little bit of trouble, aren't you? Oh, 
Oh, just don't start running away. Just don't do that. We'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Just don't start running. If you start running, I will not be able to help you. You will die. Keep shooting. Keep shooting and stabbing people. Yes, good. Come on, you can do it. Yes! Woo! Everyone lived, and Crow T leveled up. He, he deserved it from all that. 312 gold, very nice. 7 tools and supplies, 13 ammunition, a broken ancient bladed pike, which is not very valuable. Uh, we have, ooh, ancient legionary helmets, 130 armor. They do lower vision by 2, which is unfortunate. But we have two of them, and they're quite good. And then a bunch of crap shields, a broken sword, an ancient spear. So, okay, some worthwhile loot and quite a bit of cash, which was really what we wanted. Okay, so we get the blood vial of the Holy Mother. And we can take it back and get our paycheck. Alright, here we are, Nazenfels. Yay, 730 crowns. Let's go into town, do some selling, do some leveling, and then we'll call it a day for today. So, the broken ancient bladed pike, the ancient spear. Um, an ancient sword compared to an arming sword is basically just slightly worse. Um, it's worth a whole lot less money, but it's a slightly worse weapon, so I'm not going to keep that. We're not going to keep the Broken Ancient Sword either. We're also going to sell these Ancient Auxiliary Shields, because they're not very good. We'll sell this Straw Hat. We also have these Ancient Coffin Shields, which I think I might... Um, hmm, eh. They're less maximum fatigue than Kite Shields, and a little bit more range defense than Wooden Shields. But we'll keep them. Maybe we'll swap them in or something. Uh, and then the Ancient Household Helmets we can sell, but we will keep the Ancient Legionary Helmets, because those are useful. Uh, we're going to buy up tools and supplies, which we can get for quite cheap here now, actually. And they don't have anything else interesting. They do have Copper Ingots. We might be able to buy those and trade them somewhere else. I'm not sure. Let's get some cheese, some bread. We still add a thousand gold, so we've come up significantly better. And let's level up Olafest over here and Crow T before we leave. Olafest is coming close to the level cap, actually. He's level 7 now. I'm going to give him his max fatigue there. And uh, ranged defense. He does have his partly collapsed lung, unfortunately, but he is determined and tough. He's a tough cookie. Um, Olafest has Shield Expert, which is unfortunate since after that partly collapsed lung, I just had to put him in the back. Um, but that means that I should give him Whole Arm Mastery, probably. He has Repel, the Ancient Bladed Pike. Yeah, Whole Arm Mastery, so skills build up less fatigue. Reap gains plus 5% chance to hit. I don't actually know what that um, skill does. But the 25% less fatigue for skills can be quite valuable. Especially if you repel, you know, that's a quarter less. That's like seven or eight fewer points of fatigue. The other alternative would be to give him uh, Overwhelm or Reach Advantage or Battle Forged. Actually, let's give him Battle Forged so he just takes less damage straight up. And for Crow T, we're going to give him more melee skill, more fatigue, and more resolve because, oh geez, that resolve is terrible. Pep Spawn the Ugly died in battle. Poor Spawn. We loved you, Spawn. So sorry. And we'll give him Pathfinder. Okay, so we're all leveled up. We're good to go. We're repairing our gear. Those ancient legionary helmets I'm going to give to the people who don't really need vision, which is our defensive fighters. So Bernard, you get an ancient legion. Oh no, an ancient legionary helmet is actually worse than what you've already got. So Carl... You get an Ancient Legionary Helmet. That looks so stupid on you. What about that one? Eh, it's still pretty dumb. And Thilman or Rule the Brave? Rule the Brave. You get an Ancient Legionary Helmet. And so then we have these 110 helmets that we can just save for a rainy day. All right, so that's going to be it for today, folks. Um, please welcome our new, new member, Siegvert, here. Hope he doesn't die too, too quickly. And thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of my viewers. If you would like to be part of the team, uh, throw your name in the hat by leaving a comment down below. Oh, we fulfilled our ambition. 
Okay, so thinking to set tongues wagging with the name the Hardy Dogs, and thereby increase your prospects with the nobility, you push your men to great deeds, outstanding bravery, and plentiful bloodshed. After several contracts and more than a few skirmishes, you worked hard enough and long enough to have some of the lords take notice of the company's competence. These are the gentlefolk who rule the land by virtue of some long-dead ancestor subjugating a group of unarmed peasants. As Carl puts it, now these pampered inbred fops are well impressed enough with you to grind the company in one of their feuds. If you wash your face and ask politely, they should favor you with a profitable contract now and again. You can congratulate yourself. Okay, so we gained renown, nobles will give us contracts, and ooh, our look on the world map has been updated. And everyone gets better spirits. Okay, great, so, ah, look at us now, fancy schmancy. Okay, so as I was saying before I was interrupted by that, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of my viewers. Uh, if you want to be part of the group, throw your name into the hat by leaving a comment down below telling me what you would like to be called. Um, so yeah, next time we will start talking to the Noble Houses and maybe get some contracts from them, and it'll be great. So thank you all once again, and I will see you in the next one.